Well, we begin tonight with a developing story. Community leaders taking a stand against hate. These brazen behaviors are growing. We too must grow. Grow in our opposition and denunciation of hate. It comes in the wake of a hate crime in North Spokane where two convicted felons are accused of shooting up a man's home because of the color of his skin. Good evening, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. News of this crime came just out last night within hours human rights groups stood ready to denounce it. Here are the suspects, Jason Cooper and Ronald Pritchard, both have long felony records, both having served time in prison, both now charged with malicious harassment, a hate crime under Washington state law. KXY 4's Kyle Simchuk working for you tonight, gathering more information about what happened and on those suspects, Kyle. Well, Nadine, these two suspects were no strangers to law enforcement, and one of them actually lived next door to the victim. Now, we spoke to a woman who was inside the home during the shooting, and uh, she says that when the shots rang out, one of them was then five inches of her face. These acts of hate, of intolerance and violence have no place in Spokane. Witnesses say hate and intolerance is what motivated a convicted felon to open fire. You can still see the bullet holes in this North Spokane home. It took us a minute to go, oh... Th that's gunshot. Elizabeth Fisher lives here on North Wiscombe with her children and her friend, 66-year-old Norris Cooley, who is African-American. At first it started out with the, the guy coming over yelling at my friend. Cooley was cleaning out his garage around 11 p.m. on Sunday, and that's when police say his neighbor, Jason Cooper, and Cooper's friend, Donald Pritchard, approached Cooley and began yelling racial slurs, including the N-word, and at one point saying, quote, you don't deserve to be breathing white man's air. Other witnesses told police they heard the suspects yelling, hail the KKK and white power. He was racially charged. Cooley asked the men to leave, but instead they followed him into his garage. One man punched Cooley in the face, pulled a gun on him, and threatened to end his life. The men left, but returned 20 minutes later in a vehicle, and according to police, began firing at Cooley's home. I figure 10 or 11 shots. Several bullets passed through the walls. Fisher says one came within five inches of her head. It's hard to believe that this day and age that it has to be that way. Fisher isn't sure why her neighbor and his friend turned violent. We didn't have any problem with them, so I don't, I don't know what happened. Court documents say Jason Cooper lived next door with his girlfriend, who told investigators that Cooper was a supremacist and had white power tattooed on his leg. Her daughter also told police that Cooper was a racist and disliked people of color. Both men are charged with five counts of first-degree assault and one count of malicious harassment. Since both have previous felonies, they are also charged with unlawful possession of a firearm. And both men are being held on half a million dollars bond. Coming up at 6, we'll share the message Spokane Police Chief Craig Meidel has for anyone who engages in violent or hateful behavior. Reporting live outside the Spokane County Courthouse, I'm Kyle Simchuk, KXOY 4 News. Thank you, Kyle.